In this video, we're going to continue talking about EVA, or Economic Value Added. Now, in the previous video, we mentioned how there's two equations for calculating out EVA. Now, there's two equations, but each of these equations will give you the same end result. They both equal the same thing. But the reason why there's two equations is each equation tells you something a little bit different about your business. The equation we talked about in the last video calculates out EVA by calculating your total assets at risk. It gives you the actual dollar amount. The equation we're going to be talking about in this video works a little bit differently because it calculates EVA out using percentages. And knowing the percentages is actually very useful. So here we see that EVA equals ROIC minus WAC times capital. And here ROIC stands for Return on Invested Capital. WAC, of course, stands for your Weighted Average Cost of Capital. And capital, of course, is capital, or the assets that you are investing in this business. So we can look a little bit deeper into this equation because ROIC is also calculated. ROIC is calculated with no PAT divided by capital. Now this is pretty cool because if you look at this, you can see our good friend productivity. Because ROIC, it's an ROI calculation. It's a ratio of profitability, your profits, over assets. Do you see that? So this is going to give you an ROI or a percentage. So we have our ROI minus our WAC, which is also a percentage. And WAC is based on the riskiness of our business. And so what this gives us here is this gives us something we call spread. And spread describes the difference between your ROI and your WAC. And this is important because it's, it's looking at your, uh, your profits, your return on investment, minus the costs. And the difference between your ROI and your WAC is your spread, or the economic value added. And it, it, your spread is another percentage. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply our spread times the capital invested. And so if we know the percentage for the spread, it will tell us how much of this capital is going to be converted into economic value added. So let's put some numbers into the equations because I think it'll help uh, make you understand it. If we say our ROIC is 25% and we say our WAC is 15%, then the difference between the two is 10% and we say that our spread is 10%. So what that's telling you is that for every dollar of capital that is invested in this business, 10% of that capital gets converted into economic value added or 10 cents on every dollar. When we use that information in this equation, what you can see here is that it doesn't matter how much capital is invested in your business. It's based on these percentages. So whether your capital is $1,000 or a $1 million, 10% of that capital, as it flows through your business, is going to be converted into economic value added. Do you see how powerful that can be? So. This brings us to our main takeaway here, that to increase EVA, businesses should strive to increase ROIC while decreasing WAC. Now this is a very significant concept. Um, I feel like a lot of business people understand the concept of increasing their ROI. It's, imp uh, you know, most people get that it's important to increase your return on investment or your profitability. But not a lot of business people focus on the second piece of this, which is 
decreasing your whack. In this equation, it's equally as important. So let's talk about decreasing your whack. And the key to decreasing your whack is accounting. Now, to be fair, I'm a little biased here because I'm an accountant, but I see this play out every day. And it's very important to understand. WAC, if you remember our conversation on WAC, WAC is the financial market's assessment of the riskiness of your business. They're assessing the reliability of your financial statements. And who is in charge of generating your financial statements? It's your accountants. So, um, to really drive this example home, Let's imagine there were no accountants. Imagine there was no accountants in the world. We would have all these businesses. They would be involved in operating operations, either producing something or generating a service, and their financial statements would be a mess. And so there would be investors out there with capital looking to invest in businesses, but they would look at these financial statements and not be able to rely on them. And so their assessment of WAC, or their assessment of the riskiness of this business, would be too high for it to be attractive investment for them. And when you add a good accountant to a business, what it does is it reduces your WAC. And so it reduces WAC to a level where it becomes acceptable for investors to invest in your business. And it unlocks financial markets, and it unlocks uh, capital because an investor will look at that opportunity and be able to rely on those financial statements and be able to determine a reliable ROI on their investment. So, you know, what, what this equation is really describing is it's describing how financial markets work. And that's really cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this conversation about EVA. Congratulations to those of you who watched all the videos on EVA. Um, this is a really uh, interesting subject. Um, I like talking about it. Um, so I hope I expanded your appreciation of EVA and how it can be a valuable tool in your business.